is where they're supposed to be now. <laughs> My name is Sharon Tilton and I am the department chair of the Complementary Healthcare and Therapeutic Massage Programs. Um, welcome to the combined health science pinning ceremony. We are pleased that you could join us tonight to honor our newest health science graduates into their professions of that one. <laughs> Clinical lab science, phlebotomy, complementary health care, therapeutic massage, medical assisting, occupational therapy assistant, medical administrative programs, medical coding, and healthcare information. Before I introduce the members of our platform party, we will introduce our honored guest. Deborah St. George, Department Chair of the Clinical Lab Science and Phlebotomy Programs, will introduce her graduates first. Thank you, Sharon. What? President Sprager, distinguished guests, fellow faculty, family and friends, it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you the graduates of the class of 2013 in clinical laboratory science and phlebotomy. First, clinical lab science, Jenna Lee Cook.
The complementary health care graduates are Jacob Dampier. Kara McKeon. <laughs> Melanie Santos. <laughs> Jessica Smith. <laughs> the Therapeutic Massage Certificates. <laughs> Students, Paula Fazella. Grace DeBarris. Spencer Harrison. Dermot Hayes. Brian Levesque. Savannah Ramos. <laughs> Joy Rose, the Program Director of Healthcare Information and Medical Employee. I would like to present the 2013 graduates in Health Information Management Technology. Paul Barrows. Kristen Avila, 
Chelsea Belanger, <laughs> Stephanie Barabe, <laughs> Elizabeth Boulay, <laughs> Julie Kutcher, <laughs> Jason Kanya, <laughs> Stacy Diolabara. <laughs> Sumina Devers, Ames <laughs> Lepest, <laughs> Angela Jamorin, <laughs> Melissa Gonzalez, <laughs> Jean Laporte, <laughs> Jacqueline Lynn, <laughs> Amanda Patron, Beth Reese, Nicole Rigato, Michelle Silva, Jordan Smith, Diane Tavares, Kelly Theobald, Heather Watson Fournier. And Karen Woodcock. It also gives me great pleasure to tell you that among our grads are the first graduates of the e health program cohort in New Bedford. Very first class. Thank you, thank you for honoring the graduates with your presence. Please allow me to introduce our honored platform guests. Please stand when your name is called. Dr. John J. Spraga, President. Mr. Ta <laughs> Mr. Ta Mr. Tapa Awolaju, Vice President of Human Resources and Affirmative Action. Ms. Sally Cameron, Vice President of College Communications. Ms. Rhonda Gavovich, Vice President of Institutional Research Planning and Assessment. Mr. Steve Kenyon, Vice President of Administration and Finance. Ms. Elizabeth McCarthy, Vice President of Resource Development. Mr. C Steve Oza, Vice President of Students and Enrollment Management. <laughs> Ms. Joanne Pelletier, Vice President of, Informa of Information Technology Services. <laughs> Ms. Kathleen Torby Garganta, Associate Vice President of Enrollment Services. Greg Satharis, Acting Vice President of Academic Affairs. <laughs> Will the members of the Academic Vice President's Council and Enrollment Service Vice President Council stand to be recognized? <laughs> Before we begin, would you please join us for a moment of silence in remembrance of the victims of the tragedies this year, Newtown, New, New, sorry, Newtown, Boston Marathon, and Oklahoma. Thank you. President Sprague will now deliver the greetings. Hello, good evening everyone. Welcome to Bristol Community College. Great 
celebration tonight. Uh, we are very proud of our graduates, and uh, my message to the graduates is that uh, not only are we proud of you, but uh, you have always a home here at Bristol Community College in this age of lifelong learning, and please count on us uh, to support you as you move forward along your professions. Uh, you've been a credit to us. We're very proud that you're here. <coughs> I did want to say, if I can my voice a little now, that um, <coughs> this is a special year because of the tragedies that we've had. And uh, if some of them have hit close to home here on the stage. And we're very proud of uh, the work and the uh, great uh, acumen which uh, our programs have shown <coughs> in, a, in trying times. And I apologize for my voice, but uh, it is a great celebration, and we're very proud of our graduates. I want to thank the support service uh, people, uh, the deans and the faculty and uh, families and loved ones who supported our, uh, our graduates. And uh, I know you're very proud of them. So thank you again. Congratulations, and we wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Springer. Patricia Dent, Dean of Health Sciences, will deliver the welcome. Labyrinth. 
laboratory, at cl clinicals, and at practicals. Was it about you? The answer to both questions is that you were called to your profession to care for others. It was in you to keep going, even when that going got tough. Why? To care for others. Someone's mother, father, sister, brother, or friend. Your desire to make a difference in the lives of people whose life is altered by injury or disease and help to make restore them to health and wellness. That is what kept you going. There will be days when you will ask yourself, did anything I did today matter or make a difference? Believe me, it does. Let me give you a couple of examples of the difference you will make. Imagine an ill child brought to the doctor's office by her worried mother. The child is quickly taken into an examination room. Mother and child are greeted warmly by a person who deftly conducts vital sign assessments. She quickly reports the results to the physician. Based on her report, the physician determines that lab work is needed. A phlebotomist enters and as he reassures the mother and child, he skillfully and gently draws blood on the first stick. That sample is sent to a medical laboratory for a stat analysis, and an accurate diagnosis is made. Based on the diagnosis, the physician prescribes medication and enters, enters it into an electronic health record. A warning message immediately pops off. The child is allergic to this medication and alternative drugs are recommended. This electronic health record was built and tested by a BCC Health Information Technology Management graduate. Graduates of the BCC Office Administration Medical Administrative Assistant Program, Medical Assistant Certificate, Phlebotomy Certificate, Clinical Laboratory Science Program, and Health Information Technology Management, you just made a difference in the life of this child and her mother. Now another scenario. A 55-year-old man is recovering from open-heart surgery that required an incision through his sternum or breastbone. He has not been allowed to raise his arm above his shoulder or lift a gallon of milk for a month. He is anxious and he is weak. A BCC Coda uses her skills and expertise to strengthen his arm and provides recommendations on how to conserve his energy as he recovers from his cardiac surgery. This man is in a rehabilitation center, which is fortunately focused on a whole person, and his need to address his stress levels are identified. A BCC massage therapist and a complementary healthcare graduate develop a comprehensive treatment plan to alleviate his pain and promote relaxation, and it's specific to his needs. BCC graduates of the OTA program, Complementary Healthcare Program, and Therapy and Massage Certificate, you just made a difference to this man. Two very real and possible scenarios. Ah, but now comes the bill. It is accurate to the penny, because a BCC graduate transcribed those notes and a BCC medical coder assigned the codes, ensuring the proper billing occurred to the insurance company. BCC graduates of the medical transcription certificate and medical coding certificate, you just made a difference to a mother, a child, and this man. 
Thank you for joining our health care team, and congratulations on a job well done. I'd like to introduce the faculty. HCI and medical coding faculty, Anne-Marie Barone. CLS and phlebotomy faculty, Deborah Cotter. Erin Turner. You guys can see it from the name. Kelly Hiller. Amy McCarthy. J. Richard Rose. Amy Rosario. Medical assisting faculty, Dr. Christopher Jonkis, Carol Barabi, Toby Shea, Lucia Maria of Vieira. Occupational therapy assistant faculty, Cynthia Brenner, David Costa, Susan Higgins, Sue Martin, Constance Messier, Diana Rice, Amy Smith, <laughs> Michelle Taft, and Gloria Clark. Therapeutic massage faculty, Janice Veloso, Rachel Ravello, Linda Kirkwood, Janet Lane, Jason Spitalnik, Kimberly Griffith, and Margaret Ellen. Chuck Williams is a singer-songwriter from Cape Cod. He has graciously agreed to perform a song written especially for our graduates. Chuck. Saw it in the face and eyes. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I present the class of 2013. 